sometimes we should be able to be honest as leadership I said this three weeks ago to this church I said when we go wrong forgive us because this is my first time of being a head pastor this is my first time of being a prophet I don't know what it means to be a prophet until this time so when I make mistakes and there are flaws please it's my first time, maybe in an incarnate, reincarnated season or generation, when I come to the world again, maybe I will do better. But for the first time, if I make mistakes as your pastor, forgive me. If your mother passes away and I am not able to attend the funeral in person, forgive me. scripture as regarding this particular time in which we are living in Luke chapter 21 verses 34 through to 36 the Bible said take it to yourselves Lease at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life and so that they come upon your own words the Bible said for us as sinner it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of a whole earth watch ye therefore pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man watch ye therefore pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man for for the past four weeks now i have been writing something that i call high calling that is in christ jesus and this morning will not be an exception because i'm doing a culmination or a concluding addition or version or episode of this particular series I picked my scripture from Philippians chapter 3 verse number 14 but for the sake of understanding I pedal it from verse number 10 where the Bible said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. In the 11 verse the Bible said if by, by, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of death not as though I have already attained either were already perfect but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus in the 13th verse the scripture said brethren I count not myself to have apprehended by one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind reaching forth unto those things which are before he said I press toward the mark for the prize of a high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so maybe this morning I will want to uh, recreate what that particular phrase means. So it will be of a tremendous blessing to God's people. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In Genesis chapter 14, verse number 14, the Bible said there were 380 men born, born and trained in the house of Abraham. And so God could be able to make a strong submission that when there was war around Abraham or when land guards were trying to invade his space, he did not call the Ghana police service. He armed the trained men that were in his house and defended his inheritance. Is I'm looking at the word training. Can you push my table first place? Training, when I'm looking at that particular word, and I said the other day that who said that the church and this particular generation cannot be trained? Who said we cannot be trained? We can go to the football field across Paul Stadium. Even when it is raining, when it's football, a very crucial match will be there. The professor, Zoom Zoom, had a, a fight last night. Uh, you know, it was a friendly boxing fight. Uh, and uh, the people were ready to fill the Bukum boxing arena to capacity. The fight itself started very late, almost close to 11 p.m. But all the encomios that, you know, went before it, people were patiently waiting for it. Because they wanted to see the match of the professor. That at the age of 62 or more, he is still in his gloves. 
interesting and we thank God for his life and my show doing amazing things even at old age who said if any of our musicians our secular musicians are playing at a crossball stadium I mean seriously the people will not need us to call them and tell them this guy is playing at a crossball stadium so make sure you are there at 8 o'clock they will be there it is a form of training it's a form of training it's a form of training I, I saw a ball game in the United States and uh, suddenly it began to rain it began to snow and uh, the weather at the time already was almost seven minus seven degrees and when it started snowing it snowed until the snow was almost about two feet high and the people were sitting at that colosseum watching the ball game in snow in snow who said I know, pay if I had come here with a monkey and the monkey was distributing or disseminating lottery numbers, this church will be filled. The streets will be filled. Yeah, because the people of this generation, majority of us, are full of madness and we love nonsense. That is what we love. I mean, if you can get three people speaking counsel to this nation, the, a half of this nation will reject that counsel. But let's get some foolish people begin to talk nonsense to this nation. I'm telling you that majority of the nation will be ready to listen to it. It is not the nation. It is the generation. It's not the nation. It's the generation. The generation have gone upset. And Jesus made it clear. He, he was not missing words. The generation have gone upset. Men will be lovers of themselves. They also, in other words, we are going to make gods, demigods out of our own selves. This is why we can be able to call the, the creation of God and call them gods, Venus and Plade, you know, uh, Pleiades and Actaros and Mag Magtaros and, and uh, Jupiter and Mars and we call them gods. We have, we have our wit God and we are now calling creation God. This is why rivers that God gave this nation that we can be able to build resorts and hotels around them like Oti, like uh, you know, River Dinsu and Cobra Bosomke and all that. We sit here in our madness and call those rivers gods. And instead of using, utilizing, building meaningful things that can be able to raise the revenues of this nation and help us to be able to alleviate poverty and hardship, we are sitting there and defecating around these rivers. Open defecation. The nation is mad. We are mad people. Yeah, we are mad people. And PM, PM, what again do we expect God to do? What again are we expecting God to do? And when we finish defecating around all these rivers, we queue up at American embassy, British embassy, that we need visas to travel out of this country because Ghana has been destroyed. Ghana has been destroyed. <laughs> And so clearly, you may be seated. I'm taking too much time. Clearly speaking, he, he said in that particular that I want to press on for the mark of a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. There is a, there is a prize. There is a mark. It's a serious thing. It's not a joke. That is in Christ. There is a price. There is a mark. And Paul said it's for a high calling that is in Christ Jesus. And it takes 
training to do that. Luke chapter 11, Jesus was speaking. And uh, in the 11th chapter, the, the very first verse, he made a submission in that particular place. The Bible said it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place. When he stopped or had finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us how to pray. As John had taught his disciples. In other words, Lord, train us. Train us. We want to be trained. We want you to take us through in Titi. We want you to train us. We want you to think because this is the word that Christ himself used when he was telling us that all power is given to him in heaven and on earth. Therefore, in Matthew 28 verse number 19, we should go ye therefore to all nations, baptizing everyone and teaching all nations. There is a mandate in the verse number 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever for for I am with you, Lo, even to the end of the world. Teach them! It is a form of training. You cannot be born again and just dress and come to church and hallelujah, that said no. You, the moment you become born again, you deserve and you require. It is a prerequisite. It's a, it's a requirement. It's a necessity for you to be trained. People can never fly a plane. They cannot sit in the cockpit of an aircraft and fly a plane unless they have gone through training. They are training is similar to doctors training medics the, the training of medics they go through almost seven years of training yeah and then by the time they are done with their seven years of flying training they go and do their licensure examination for a pilot or a flying license before they can be able to be gazetted as pilots to fly planes but even when you become a pilot just like in the police service and the army and the navy and all that you go from level one to two level two to three and all that depending on your experience of flying so there is a prerequisite training of everybody who goes through that listen to me carefully i mean clearly speaking you cannot go into the ghana armed forces and they put a gun in the hand of somebody who is a novice who is an apprentice who is an you know a fresher who does not understand the dynamics of the weapon they train the person even when you become a catholic priest you have a 13 year training 13 years to become a reverend father five years of theology as a matter of fact they start with five years of your oaths your oaths your ministerial oaths your secrecy oaths and then the oaths of celibacy that you have taken an oath they teach you for five years to understand that you have taken a note that you will never sleep with a woman that you are married to christ that's why they put that ring on their hands it's not for fun they put the cross on their neck yeah i'm charismatic for you. we don't understand why they do all that they put the cross on their neck they put the cross on their neck it is not for fun. By the time we put a crucifix, a chain on a, on a particular, on that particular reverend father, we want to tell the reverend father, you, you, you have been, you have been ushered or assimilated into sacrifices and suffering, the suffering of the cross of Christ. You are not in luxuries. That is why you don't see Roman fathers driving all these luxury flashy cars and all that. Range Rover, Maserati, Ferrari and all that. They usher you into modesty and simplicity. It's an art of worship and devotion to Christ. For them, it is a whole doctrine. So by the time a reverend father is there, even if he has the money, he does not buy a private plane. Even if he has the money. Somebody can buy a gift and all that. They receive gifts circumspectly. And by the time they put that ring on their finger, they want to say that you are not only married to the cross and the work of God. Where we see a penny who now friend on our ma is because he is married to Christ. Passions and lust have just been removed and thrown somewhere. It's serious. And that person's divorce is a training. And so when he stands, that person sees beautiful young ladies with, with big 
you know, behind and, and hips and all that. It does not make the Roman father anything except the mad ones, which I don't know any of. Yeah, you know, it does not mean anything to them because for them, they have taken five years of your oaths. Then you will travel to Rome and go and do five years of theology. When you are done with five years of theology, then you go and do Latin, Hebrew, and then Greek for three years. Then you come back to Accra and then you are consecrated as a Roman Catholic reverend father. A father. A father. Say, say your fellow father you are a man of God you carry the cross of Christ you show the way of salvation it's not nonsense you, your passions are crucified your lusts are crucified you do not have any passions and lights for the world and the things that are in it because they will train you that the love of this world is not of the father but of the world and the world and this last pass it away and they that do the will of God the Father, the Bible said, shall abide forever. I stand here, ladies and gentlemen, there is a training for the born again Christian. It's not a joke. Training. You can never be, you know, referred to as you are with a high calling, except you are trained. I mean, I want to use opportunity, except there is a training said training. His majesty clogged 25 years on the golden stool. But I can boldly tell you, despite the fact that Kinosetu II is uh, you know, there is training. That, that's why I said well, yeah, this year, there is training. Which we we actually we to my frako ha echresse and that yeah yeah raw in a moon pabwa echresse or hin it na a drum now will be bechiana sa echresse we into me mechiana na it's a training it's not just because you are eligible and you are qualified for the throne and all that and then they put you on no 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 this is why now we have all kinds of crazy mad people who are chiefs and you know whatever and uh, you go how, how did that young man who shot the army officer last week how did he become a chief no how did he I, 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 do, I want to how did he become a chief how did he become a chief Come in, me Juni say, we be your here. Akonya pa, there can be be a Adeshia be enzo. I want more pray, but out of Adeshia enzo, I want more pray. You could be sabre wet here. It was sabre wet here to me chile that you know women na ya Adeshia, women na fi and tongkrum, women na di a di a ye ye. But we ni subanya ni a yinefu. Straight ni a yinefu. It will be to me about the Jina Honu or Kassan or your press conference on me. You don't care about Abri Wetti, I see with Subanya. Straight. Same thing. Recently, I saw the Ghana Bar Association, you know, making a very strong submission. And they said that not just anybody can be a lord. Because seriously speaking, me, me, tenacity, and then I look at certain people who are lawyers, it really shocks me. Honestly speaking, I ask myself, how did this person also become a lawyer? Now, the association, before you are called to the bar, they are even scouting through social media and looking for absurd behavior that mm, this one, he does not qualify to be a lawyer. And so he has passed or she has passed all her exams and she is a bright student. But they want to tell you, lawyers can do this. They can do that. They can't speak anyhow. They cannot remove the address in nakedness and show themselves to the internet and still pick up their wig and come to court and address a judge of competent Jewish redemption. They want to tell you though, your nonsense does not qualify you to be standing in a law court and if they don't even care whether the law court is a wooden structure, they still address 
address the church as your honor, your grace, your worship. They still give honor to that office and to that seat. And so mad people cannot be lawyers. Mad. They can be lawyers. Mad people can't be lawyers. Yeah. A chief can just, just, you know, be a langard. Listen to the two things I just said. How can a chief be a langard? How can a chief? We give honor and due respect to these chiefs because we reverence them. We don't want to go out of line, you know. But how can we all respect you as the chief and the chief does not respect himself? How? How can we all respect the honorable minister but the honorable minister does not respect himself? How can a whole country respect a president or a prime minister or a king but the king, the president or the prime minister does not respect his own or her own self? Yenayabu and Zumu Obiabu and Zumu it is the same thing when we say somebody is a Christian. We all respect you except yourself. You are distinguished. You are amazing. We thank God for your life. We celebrate you. We reverence. But you don't reverence yourself. You be a one can say you timidity and one and one term and all that you be a one and then say you be a one in one mutia. You be a one winter who boom one you will be cool. Obia will boon home. They will never do that. You see, they will speak like Joseph. How can I commit this iniquity against God and myself to sleep with somebody's wife? And so when, when Potiphar's wife was making the advances, Joseph said, I am a man that fears God. How can I commit this iniquity against God and myself? That means that iniquity is not only committed against God, it is also committed against yourself. Anybody that commits adultery, the Bible says, commits, you know that Thing, that act, that iniquity, that dent, that marginalization and maligning against your own self. Yeah. And so he comes to the conclusion and to say that the body is a temple, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit that lives in you. In other words, the Spirit of God is dwelling in a temple which is not block and cement, but your body becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Bible said God is in his holy temple. Let everything and everyone be silent before him. I bring my submission to his culmination and I'm talking, the, the guys came to the Lord Jesus and tell, train us, teach us how to pray. And now we tell me Jim Crow for guests and nobody at the end of that you know your boob you work. A man is in uniform. Would you won't throw me be ano? You don't fear a man with tears say you have courage. But that uniform is the image of the nation. That uniform is the image of the nation. As if that is not enough. The next day when the army officer was killed, the next day two police officers were killed after they had closed serving this nation. Serving somebody's husband, somebody's father, somebody's son. Serving this nation. And may I bet to say, you know, just like teachers, Purosi if I get the eyes. When I look, Obi here with a baby near Afri Purosi for Obi Buru Obi near Afri Purosi for Badam for Obi here, Badam watch this kind of jungle of funny Afri Purosi for. Ask me the risk and the things. They commit their lives to the danger. They commit their life to Akatiana. Yes, saying I want to commit their life to all that danger. As Siafu and Nitide can be able to draw a, a gun and 
And you see, I'm going to tell the government of Ghana a two hour system. Ni mu. A two hour system. Ni mu. A two hour system. Ni mu. They are not gazetted. They are not licensed. The guns I'm talking about are not guns that have gone through the system biometric data. We know the people who own the guns. Though that's not what I'm talking I'm talking about, you know, illegal weapons and i'm not going to use the word small the the kind of weapons that are in the system are not small they are not small and we are in an electioneering year yeah that Ghanaian born uh major by the name of my grandfather that came from the united states to ghana surveyed our system and realize that we have too many flaws. We are a very flawed system. It went back to the United States and bought guns and what the provision, barry to barry, door to door. We need to find the fear near the barry and the barry. That we will say your system is loose. But Tom and Tony, four years, the United States government was following him. Yeah, yeah, to ya baby, I bet two and two no. Yeah, in China, oh my, I two and two and a mom no. You name, but American government had match that in July. He is going to jail for twenty years. Now, Kagan and Nia, but in America, rise here to be a major in 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 the army. Yeah, you me, yeah, you me that a yeah, Jimmy. Let it be said that young man in the armed forces is a Ghanaian born train. And Cobra Koya also, yeah, we wouldn't have. Of course, what to am I in any beauty? But we'll be in it here when people don't have training. They, when people don't have training, as we are sitting here right now, there are many people who don't have any training. O bien na no kasa wo be hu se training bi ene ho. Ne hu o fe. But the super can can. What na sorry them 10 years. But o nye na train so be sakra. O nye na train wo man se me jai. But na sorry them 10 years, 20 years. O nye na train so be sakra. Suban can kind suban fi kwasi a suban kwasi a juni said the Romans once a year kind in twenty one Romans na a year one said we in we in answer phone what done in kwasi a why juni in kwasi a juni put it in my language Romans chapter number one the Bible says free so we nimi yangu pon di enenso we nchene we nyamse yangu pon di we nana se the Bible says nimi why juni a in kwasi a juni. Kasi ajini diye. O meyi wopi. O meyi wong kasi ajini. Money for school. Ni a penny to girlfriends. Kasi ajini diye yeah, juma. Yeah. Money for hospital. They are marrying three wives. Kwasi ajini diye yeah, se juma. Upi wong tete ya. Me say. Adia why? They will never go into it. I'm telling you. You know jimi kachila me say. Moma bu som kan kain okra. Adia bi wong wa wia adwe gung kunyani hufi. A dear be on my me, no fire on him. I don't call him a messy of Anna. A ye be a Pessia, a Namka, Pessia, you are him fear. And was a good year bit me a year, bit me a year, but ye are ye young grind bear, a yammy and son, yet ya who rufia. Both as ye young yammy and son who rufio. Actually, I said, A dear be on my ye goon could run off. The Bible said, If the blood of cows and goats were able to save or deliver or cleanse or atone for your sins, the book of Hebrews said, How much more the blood of Christ? Yeah, how much more the blood of Christ who through the eternal 
how spirit offered himself without spot unto God purge your conscience from dead works to go and serve the living God and so the Bible said in the first Peter chapter number 1 and verse number 18 the scripture said for we know that uh, we have not been redeemed with corruptible things such as silver or gold uh, from our vain conversation or tra- which we receive from the traditions of our fathers but the Bible said in the next verse but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ uh, as a lamb without blemish and without spot the bible said on the gogota cross when christ's blood poured on that particular ground the whole earth shook because it could not receive it the the temple shook to its foundations until the curtains of that particular temple split into two the blood has atoned your sins the blood has washed your sins the blood has redeemed you the blood has sanctified you the blood has emancipated you the blood has made a very strong submission of a redemptive work the blood has regenerated you the blood has translated you from the domain of darkness into the light of Christ the blood has set you apart the blood has purged your conscience from dead works to serve the living God the blood has made you a new creation all things have passed away oh be behold all things have become new the blood has distinguished you it wants to make you just like Christ into the image of Christ the blood has lifted you from grace to grace glory to glory favor to favor victory to victory healing to healing peace to peace the blood has elevated you and placed you above your enemies you are seated in Christ far above principalities and powers and dominion and rulers of darkness the blood has made you victorious that no weapon formed against you will ever prosper the blood has made you rich out of poverty the blood has made you wealthy the blood has made you relevant the blood has made you significant I don't know who I'm talking to right now I'm speaking about the blood of the lamb that washes the sins of the whole world somebody I am talking about the blood lift your voice and shout yes oh shout the higher I feel it hallelujah sit down you are too up Eddie. the blood have made that that blood of atonement is doing that job as I finish my course let me tell everybody and so he trains us the kind of training I'm talking about he trains us in the love of God that the person is a Christian they have love in the case of when people have mistreated you and uh, you know they have maltreated you the blood teaches you forgiveness forgive them forgive them and be wise yeah forgive them and be wise those of you seated here who can still forgive your fathers what is the meaning of the blood there's a training there's a very powerful christian training that can listen to this that can teach people that if when people reject you people reject you the blood is able to make you stand and love yourself oh yeah and and love yourself and have confidence in God and in yourself that no matter what it is I am still the head not the tail I am still above not beneath I'm still the top not the bottom I'm still a winner even if you reject me I'm still the winner I saw the joy the joy on the faces of the Amasama market men and women when I entered the market the people could not believe they went so crazy surrounded me they loved that you know because they, they could not believe that I am in the market why, why couldn't you why, why, 
Why can't you believe that I'm in the market? My job is souls. I don't care where the souls are. The souls can be in prison. I will go there. The souls can be in a hospital. I will go there. The, the souls can be in a market. I will go. Now we who are supposed to be soul winners have turned ourselves into celebrities. We, we find it difficult to go to, you know, places like this. Huh? Well, I'm not, well, how can you find it difficult to go to? Oh, because I, I am an air conditioned pastor and I preach to a mega church and my church people are all rich people and all that. But the Bible said that the gospel belongs to the poor. Oh yeah, I'm talking to people who know that they have no savior except the Lord delivers them. Yeah, that is the people whom the gospel belongs to so i'm it is a training that can make you accept any ordinary person this is why after first service to second service i go out and i thank people thank you for choosing alabaster thank you for coming to church this morning thank you i appreciate you it's my joy to have you this morning you are not doing me a favor i am rather you i am not doing you of you are rather but i don't know how it goes i you are doing me a big favor to be here i am not doing you you are doing me a big 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 favor and so i should shake your hands that is what leadership does you know so minister of agriculture should be able to go into the farms and turn thank the farm thank you very much for making it happen minister of education can go to a school and must be able to shake people in their hands and say to ordinary teachers we are grateful we really appreciate you when i'm driving in the night just like we drove to uh the lost gardens ministry last friday night we were driving around 1 a.m to go to la beautiful church apostle mrs lian kofi has built for the lord we you know when the and imami chrissy daughter i'm going to thank you for you know your leadership and your mentorship on that wonderful moment of god mama chrissy thank you thank you for mothering us thank you thank you anytime i see police officers i thank them i roll my glass and say thank you thank you for serving this nation because i saw the barriers all around where i am still coming back you know i saw barriers. and so when you see you know that i pull my wallet and i'll count the notes and put it it is not bribe it's appreciation bribe for what at the end why are you bribe? It's appreciation. Oh, Miss I. This, <laughs> this morning, I mean, the young man I met among, I met about three, four barriers. But one of the people, he, he, he saw me, Chief Inspector, he saluted. He said, I have never seen you like this before. I only see you on television. I said, This nation is grateful for the sacrifice. Thank you. It's a training. It's a training. It's a training. It's a training. It's a training to look in the eyes of your wife and say, babe, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for marrying me. I am saying, I am saying, I am saying, I am saying, I am I am saying, I am saying, We said no man mass or in Tamane how and you know no cas Tell your wife thank you for taking care of the children. Thank you. Thank you for giving me three, four children. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And you see, ladies, it will be it will be just it will be just fun and amazing, you know. After Ukuna Shiswa Mas I don't know, sister. You have my name, Who could ask you so much? Ah, me do. We did not know thing. It's a training. It's a training. Young guys, who come heaven? It's a training. Can you imagine people who appear in heaven without any training? It's a training. 
Yeah, it's a training. Your child picked up the remote control and gave it to you and said, Boy, thank you. Ubi a dream when I'm in a ma war no offer remote to mommy and I what dream I say. What dream I say. Thank you. I appreciate. And when you are wrong, it's a training to just say I'm sorry. Yeah. It's it's and I'm not talking about they said as you say sorry, so sorry. No. It's a training. It's a training. What could chimp na ya chow? That you why chow. Nido, we need to ya say. Eya hunchire ne bai. E bisa o sa hunchire ben a o se ma ya si a hunchire. Ma ya si a hunchire ne bai. We di watch me, watch me. Asa, it's a training. It's a training. Can you imagine all the, you know, composers, arrangers, musicians? There was no music in the world. This is why some people deserve honor. And I'm going to tell government, Elder S.K. Ampia, the long-time celebrated musician of the Apostolic Church of Ghana, who have written too many songs. A man is dead right now and he deserves a national or a state barrier. This one. Sometimes, I can share baby and I can tell you that I can talk for a lot of state. But I'm not talking about politically motivated stuff. This man deserves honor. This man. All the songs of soul winners, this man wrote it. This man. This man. Many of the songs the soul winners have sung, this man wrote it. As a matter of fact, some of the songs of Francis A.J., this man wrote it. This man deserves a national recognition. Order of the Volta, Order of the Star. He deserves it, even though he is a but that honor he deserves it sometimes we should be able to be honest as leadership I said this three weeks ago to this church I said when we go wrong forgive us because this is my first time of being a head pastor this is my first time of being a prophet I don't know what it means to be a prophet until this time so when I make mistakes and there are flaws, please, it's my first time. Maybe in an reincarnated season or generation, when I come to the world again, maybe I will do better. But for the first time, if I make mistakes as your pastor, forgive me. If your mother passes away and I am not able to attend the funeral in person, forgive me. I am only one person. Forgive me. If you know there is something that you really needed me there and I didn't show up, don't be offended and say that when I went to Alabasta, ABC, and all that, this is my first time. And the first time I will make mistakes. So, and since I am only one person and you are praying for me to accept that the team I build around me, as competent as I am, it is going to be better with time as we learn and develop. Yeah. Tell the people. Yeah. I will not hesitate to kneel down here on this altar to beg anybody. I will not hesitate. I will not hesitate to say sorry. People that I have offended, you know, in my work and presentation, I don't hesitate to come back and say sorry to them. I don't hesitate. So if people like your household do not find it difficult, sing as a state, as a nation, Instead of us to be talking things like we are the best since in independence, tell the people understand? Humility exalts. Arrogance and pride destroys. 
Ya ponsore na menyansi. Oh,